What's happening, my people? So, a segment that I like to uh, come with on the channel. How to style videos, why? Because a lot of people not doing it. And then we have these expensive ass shoes and stuff. And then sometimes you get them and it's like, okay, what to wear with these things right here, man? What to wear with these? So, was it happy enough to go through GOAT and be able to get the South Beach? Eight LeBrons, LeBron Eight South Beach, whatever, and very beautiful shoe, very beautiful shoe, man. But black, pink, and teal highlighted. Uh, how you gonna wear these things, man? Like, cause what you gonna get a, a Miami Heat jersey with uh, some jeans, some pretty much Miami Vice vibes, so let's let. The way we go through these videos, man, I find a few looks. We see if I like them, if I dislike them. And pretty much what it's about is trying to give you some ideas. So if you pay $200, $300 for a shoe, you want to have something to be able to wear with it, man. You want to be able to put it together. A lot of sneakerheads, like I'm not saying I'm the coldest brother in the world. Like I'm the best fashion guru or anything. But I, I, I try to dress it up a little bit. And sneakerheads dress trash. Like I'm keeping 100, keeping one, 1,000. Sneakerheads can't dress. But uh, let's look at this. I'm gonna go through this first look right here, and very simple, very simple look right here. Got on some light color shorts, like the above knee joints, white shirt. Uh, the way the screen is right here is kind of small, so I can't see like everything. What it says. But it's white, got the pink vibes or something. It goes. I'm not mad at this. This is cool. This is cool. The, the whip, the whip in the background, shit, that bitch, bitch matches. That's nice. But uh, I'm not trying to match. I, I ain't got it like that to match my my whip with my with my shoes and stuff. But uh, he did a good job, man. That, that's nice. And I did this for the last video, so I'm gonna try to keep this going. Like, I'm going to give this a rating. I'm going to give this a 6.5 out of 10. I'm going to give this this rate. So, I'm going to try to rate the little looks or something. Uh, next one right here. It's not a super lot of looks that I found. Because a lot of the looks that I found were, like, from the, the old shoes. And, like, I don't want to judge people on what they were wearing 10 years ago and stuff. So, And a lot of people don't have these yet because they haven't. Some places they did release on the 10th. But sneakers and stuff pushed them back, I think, to the 21st. But uh, I was able to get these through GOAT, like I said. So that's how I got these early because they released overseas and stuff. And then you buy from the right, right, right. Anyways, second look. See this right here. This look like one of those Sheen shirts, uh, Boohoo Ma shirts or something. Like off one of those kind of sites, Fashion Nova type <laughs> shirts. But I, I like the... Uh, I, I like some of the shirts like that that I've seen. Like, it, it does match up pretty good and stuff, but just the overall look like the... Because the shirt, I don't know, the shirt kind of like big-ish in the shorts. is like extra tight. He, he tried to put it together, though, man. Like, he, he, put, he put the black lace on one shoe, the pink lace on the other shoe. Like, he was trying. He was trying hard. And I'm not, I'm not mad at it. But it's like, I don't want to shit on people, man. Like, I shit on people in videos and stuff and, like, kind of regret it. I don't like this look. I don't like this look. It, it look cheesy. It look cheesy. I'm, I'm, that, that's what I think. But I'm going to give it a 5. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Because uh, he did try hard. He tried hard. But it, it come out cheesy. It looked like a bowling shirt or something. Like, the way it fits on him and stuff. Like, I just don't like the fit. But uh, next one. That's right here, plain look. You got the colors down, got the colors down. I, I like that, I like that. Got the MTV shirt, that matches perfectly. Like, I, I rock that MTV shirt. And he did it different. He did it different right here. He came through with the with the khaki shorts. Like, you wouldn't think, you wouldn't think of khaki with these. So, I, I kind of like that. This damn piece of hair keep going behind my ear. Uh, trying to let it hang. But, uh, yeah, I, I like I like this man. I like this. It, it's chill, but 
I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give a six and a half out of ten. A six and a half out of ten. Like I don't want to uh, go super stupendous with it, but it's a nice chill look. It, it goes like that. That brown and stuff. It, it don't look bad with the South Beach. It's, it's pretty good. Jump into the next look right here. Uh, Jada Snigger guy. So everybody is seeing him, man. He blowing up in the shoe community. The brother, Mr. Swap It Out, etc. But he did. He got the regular laces in. Got the pink laces. You know he's gonna come through with the socks as well. He got the, the teal type socks. Swap shirt. Miami Heat hat. Like he coordinate, coordinate. Like I like this look right here. I'ma give this. I'ma give this an eight out of ten. I'ma give this an eight out of ten. The brother, the brother be swaggy. He be swaggy. I, I ain't gonna be no hater. He did his thing on this. And the reason why I kind of like brushing over this kind of quick is because the next look is also Jada Sneaker Guy. And this right here is a more simple look. It's the same look pretty much, except for this time he got the black jeans. Like it, it's kind of, and he got the the uh, black the black shoelaces. To me, if to me with the black shoelaces in here, it make them look a little more casual. You maybe could wear it with a little bit more things, but I still like the pink laces. It just make them pop more. But this look right here, the last one was an eight. I dropped this down to a seven and a half. I'd rather the shorts like it had a little more color than the black jeans and stuff. And like it's 90 something degrees in the boot. I don't want to see no jeans like for a long time. But it's, it's another good look, man. It's, even though it's pretty much exactly the same except for the, the jeans and the short swap. But I'd rather the shorts with the different colors. And that's pretty much all the looks I could find. Pretty much. And we're gonna jump into my looks, how I wore it. Like I'll I really did wear this with some other shoes, but I knew I could I could get by and put the South Beaches on, so I was doing this for the video purposes. So I got some H&M clothes the other day. I pretty much bought this just for the fact to do this style video and have something to wear with the South Beaches. And this shirt right here is like some some athletic shorts, like some uh, I was about to say cloth shorts, but like some cotton shorts. In the shirt, it has like some floral print on the back. So I, I think floral printing and stuff looks good with the South Beaches as well. And I wanted to do something a little different because everybody's gonna have pink and teal or all black, maybe all gray, something like that. So I wanted to go on the opposite end of the spectrum. So I came with more like a cream type color, but I like the floral vibes to, to me the floral vibes goes with the South Beach eights. That was my thinking with this, but uh, I'm not gonna rate my own stuff. Like y'all could do that if y'all want in the comment section. But uh, next one, I wore these for the past few days and did came through with the pink. So got the pink Jordan engineer shorts, just regular black shirt. Uh, I think that's a Fabletics hat, but just a just a black uh, dad type hat or whatever. Uh, I went with some low socks. I could have had some, some higher socks and came with some teal or some pink or something, but I just went with the low socks to not distract. But I was thinking of coming with a teal shirt. I had one, but last second I opted for the black shirt. I think this look right here with the black shirt is something that more people would wear. I think with the teal shirt, like it's it's a little too matchy match. A little too matchy match, man. It's good to coordinate. But I think sometimes you can overdo it. I think if I would have came through with a teal shirt, I would have overdid it. So this was a little more simple, but it makes sense with the with the pink shorts and the pink laces and stuff. So I, I like this look. I like this look personally. And the last look right here, uh, this is something else. I bought this exclusively for the purpose of going with the South Beaches. And this is some Boohoo My, Boohoo My uh, pants. And it's some uh, tie-dye, some tie-dye pants, but I seen it. I'm like, uh, give me South Beach vibes or whatever. I'm like, yeah, I think I can do that, pull that off. And I I opted not to like go crazy with the shirt because the pants are so crazy. So I just went with the white t-shirt. But just something else I wanted to try to put together, like give you some more ideas to wear with the South Beach. Something else I say you can, you can rock with this. I would say camel. Uh, camo, some light denim. Uh, Jada Sneaker guy already came with the black pants, but yeah, a uh, gray. You come through with all gray and stuff. All gray matches with with a lot of things. And just a, a lot of 
just uh, some other things for you to think about as far as like wearing these shoes. But that's my list style looks, man. So just wanted to drop something for the South Beaches before they actually drop. So if you do think about buying these shoes and you're like, damn, I don't know what to wear. Hopefully you come across this video and I helped you out a little bit. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Go be the greatest of the most hated man. I let you boy. Peace.